Indiana Attorney General Todd Rokita traveled the state today to discuss several hot button issues. He focused on parents' rights when it comes to their children's education and the Texas abortion bill. I sat down with him to get his take on these national conversations. Indiana Attorney General Todd Rokita is part of a 17th state coalition that sent a letter to the Department of Justice as well as the National School Board Association asking for an apology regarding their request for law enforcement to keep an eye on threats happening to school board officials. And the Department of Justice uh, saying that they're going to monitor that and trying to intimidate them from speaking is absolutely wrong. And that's why I let a 20, or excuse me, a 17 state coalition of attorneys general pushing Merrick Garland, and Joe Biden, and everyone else back and say, stay in your lane, guys. You're overreaching enough on so many issues. You're not going to do it here. The DOJ memo Rokita is referring to was released on October 4th. In it, United States Attorney General Merrick Garland said, quote, threats against public servants are not only illegal, they run counter to the nation's core values, end quote. Rokita feels if threats are happening, then they should be handled on a local level. We've seen parents simply be concerned, speaking loudly, speaking emotionally, speaking passionately about what's going on in your kids' schools. That is protected speech by our First Amendment. There's nothing illegal about that, and you just have to have a bit of a thicker skin. And to the extent anyone's getting death threats, they should call 911 and file a report. One topic that parents have been passionate about is critical race theory. Rokita believes it's a topic that shouldn't ever be taught in public schools. We can be diverse and still be unified. Uh, critical race theory says no, no, you can't. And that's not, it's not, act, it's not factual, it's not right. Another topic of discussion Attorney General Rokita has been discussing with Hoosiers is the Texas abortion law, which bans abortion once a fetal heartbeat is detected. He's leading 20 other states in asking the U.S. Supreme Court to reject the challenge of the law that is currently being debated in the country's highest court. This is a, a, a culture, an issue that, that, that goes across state borders. And, uh, and the hope and expectation is, is that if the Texas law uh, is proved to be constitutional ultimately and viable, then that will, that will open the door for other states like Indiana. Rokita defended the Texas abortion law saying that Roe v. Wade was a Supreme Court decision and not written into the Constitution. On Monday, Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh said the law could set a dangerous precedent in our country. He said how the law is structured could set a precedent for other states to target constitutional rights like freedom of speech, freedom of religion, or Second Amendment rights.